Hi, I'm Beth Harris. I'm Shana Lindsay. And we're going to talk about this very odd and disturbing photograph. This is a photograph by Dion Arbus, who's a New York City photographer. Um, it dates to 1962, and it's called Child with a Toy Grenade, New York City. It's incredibly disturbing. He's got a grenade in his hand. That's upsetting. He, it, he looks like there's something wrong with him. In selecting her photograph, she's always drawn to something that seems, uh, on, on the one hand, that you can identify with it, and on the other hand, it seems very other to you. It seems very different, and you might say disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> you don't find it disturbing? I do, although having children, in particular boys, <laughs> sometimes they do make faces like this, um, you know, just in their own imaginations, you know, their own play. It does. There's some, almost something like... You, you, one has to wonder if there's something medically wrong with him almost in this <laughs> photograph, more than just that he's playing. Right. His neck is incredibly tense. What's interesting is that she, her training as a photographer, she was a, an assistant with her husband. They had a, um, a home base studio where they would shoot fashion photos. Um, so, you know, this, this type of, you know, of straining of the body is something that she would uh, never, ever choose in her commercial work. Mm -hmm. Where everything had to be very graceful mm -hmm. and smooth. Yeah, yeah. And so, so she wants us to be sort of jostled into a zone of discomfort. Mm -hmm. and, and so she asked this boy to pose. She came across him in the park and asked him to, to pose. Yes, yes. She um, was apparently just walking through the park looking for something to shoot when she found the boy. And uh, he agreed. And so, as you can see from this contact sheet here, um, he, she's moved him around to several different locations. And here he's standing next to a, a bird bath. Yeah, he um, looks rather ordinary in those other photographs. Right, standing somewhat gallantly here, you know, uh -huh. um, uh, on, on a path. Um, then she moves him to this area where you see the tree in the background, which is ultimately the same, you know, area that the final print was made from. And, um, you know, I think she likes the dappling of the sunlight. You know, mm -hmm. you can see the light slightly coming from behind. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, um, this is, uh, you know, this is the shot that, that she chooses where he's, um, and maybe if you go back. Yeah. Uh, he's standing so that there's a continuation of the, uh, the tree. Right, of the tree, one tree with the suspender. Right. Um, you know, down the legs. So right. there's a slightly off-center axis. And then there also the pairing of the trees matches with it's the pairing legs. of the two legs. Um, you know, and the his, one suspender, too. Mm -hmm. It's sort of... The one suspender falling down, yeah. sort of looping to the right, just like there's a little branch coming off at the top of the other tree to the right. And then both of the hands are doing the same thing. So there's all this symmetry and asymmetry at the same time. Right. And there's a pattern, of course, in his shirt um, that... Uh, in some ways reflects the, 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 the light, dark, dappling down below. Mm -hmm. And it almost <clears> seems <throat> like all of this, he's the sort of focal point of this dappled light that sort of seems to emerge from, from him, almost like a halo of light or dappling around him. Absolutely. And um, since the light is coming from slightly behind him, uh, it's almost like the light is being projected towards us, and it also creates almost orthogonals, you mm -hmm. know, from right. like the you know the checkered floor of a Renaissance perspectival image. Right? Did she did she take this with an ordinary lens? She yeah. Well, she the the type of uh, camera she uses is a Rolleiflex, and um, this has a viewfinder that allows her to um, see the image. It's usually hanging around her waist, the camera. So she looks down into the camera. Um, and then there's another lens that actually is used to, to shoot the image. 